So 2020 definitely brought in a whole host of craziness for everybody in the entire world. Uh, no exception for in my line of work, and it has been an absolute madhouse since then. Uh, definitely working to keep up with some mental clarity and uh, working to stay as uh, clear-headed as possible and uh, definitely in need of getting some uh, mind-clearing space here. And uh, so that's why I'm setting out on this solo bike back and trip, hoping that the solitude and the miles on my own can bring some uh, nice mental clarity and uh, get the anxiety a little bit down, get myself feeling uh, some, some really solid mental health here. any trip wouldn't be complete without this the coffee right at my side <laughs> My first rail trail of the day. This is gonna connect to the Dabs Rail, and uh, I will officially be on rail trail the entire way. Yo camp. Looking forward to it. A little ominous out there. Just gonna hope for the best and have a great time. Took the non-official way to get to the Gap Trail. Wanted to show you guys the park and it's pretty nice. It's paved over this. All new graffiti now and uh, it's being worked on and people are gonna make it up ready. on the gap trail where it doesn't double as the gap trail and another trail this is only the gap trail the whole way Connellsville a little over 10 miles in feeling great temperature is great weather's great all good stuff
20 miles in. I uh, just passed Kennywood and uh, got a glimpse of the Phantom's Revenge that I shared with you. Uh, sitting at the picking table now, feeling really great. Uh, sun is definitely overcast, or the sky, I mean, is definitely overcast. Uh, basically one big cloud, but no rain right now. Um, the next town I'm heading into potentially could have some rain, uh, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but feeling absolutely great and just having an absolute great time. Finally on gravel. There's a small section back towards Homestead that's gravel, a little bit of limestone, but this is where the limestone first away. And just love that sound of the crushed limestone tires going over it. And rain's moving off for now. So we're in good shape. Starting a little bit. Mostly just yeah. Take it. but still not too bad. So all in all, still pretty lucky considering there are better storms. So fingers crossed to get more of this. Might have been having a great time. It's starting to just feel a little bit better mentally and uh, get some of that clarity a little bit more.
Made it about 43 miles past home uh, to West Newton. This Fox's Pizza was super nice to me and my buddy Jeff whenever uh, we were here. Last for my first bike packing trip, self supported, and it was pouring down rain, and they gave us towels and places to charge our phones, and just all around great and very nice to us. So, definitely wanted to make sure I stopped back and uh, gave him some more business. So, go check it out. Get the food. So hopefully it's the case now. And uh, yeah, just trucking along here. Seems like the rain stopped. Kind of sunny skies. Uh, definitely some clouds. Ten miles to the camp. Just uh, have the good spirits carry me through. And uh, we'll be there soon. Seven miles. And, uh, time to relax a little bit. Last night, my buddy Chad came by and uh, we had a beer and uh, hung out a little bit. Uh, so I didn't get to get a chance to make or talk in the video at all. Um, but last night was absolutely wonderful. I slept so much better than my last bike packing trip. I really upgraded my sleep system and uh, it was really great. I was outside of my sleeping bag halfway for a while instead of shivering to death. So it was a lot more comfortable very happy, uh, very warm the whole time, and uh, even the temps were the same as the last time I did a trip, so very excited about that. Um, a long ride back home, the same exact way, six to seven miles, and then uh, on the way back, I'll have about 60, or I'll have about a 500 to 1,000 feet of climbing just to get back to my house once I get off the rail trail, so that'll be an extra challenge for me there. Uh, gonna finish packing up, already started packing up and camp a little bit, and I'm uh, gonna finish packing up camp and head on out of here. Shoving off here, leaving Connellsville, heading back towards Pittsburgh. It is a fine mist. All of my glasses can't really uh, see that well, but uh, I think this is supposed to clear up in an hour or so. So we'll see. I'm gonna get some uh, nice sunny weather. I'm gonna check in, in a little.
teammates that are coming down a little bit harder, but it has passed. Here we are. Beautiful skies. Beautiful skies. At least compared to what I've been seeing. And uh, just grinding it out. So we get to our first stop. I think I'm going to stop at West Newton again. And, uh, Guys, I haven't had this nice of weather on a bike packing trip ever. So this is great. Absolutely love this. We're here at Fox's Pizza in West Newton. They're just so kind to bike packers that I just had to come back and support them. So heading on in, getting some lunch, and uh, continuing about, about my way. We're about 25 miles in, and got to, got to get to 67 to get home. in 27 or so to go. Uh, Boston Bridge is really a landmark for me because in my childhood in Scouts we use this as a stopping point for all of our cycling trips and canoe trips and once you see the big blue bridge you know you're done and you know you're back home so this is then this is about the furthest I normally cycle from my house to here on a, on a normal type of ride so it's uh, it, it's definitely home turf territory and it uh, feels good to be getting back and I'm almost really uh, back to my neighborhood. So uh, happy, to, happy to have done this and uh, very excited for the rest of the trip here. Just under 30 miles or so to go. And uh, yeah, just really enjoying it. Weather really is just absolutely incredible and uh, couldn't really have been better. So we'll see you in a little. Park, fun place to go. We used to go every year at least once growing up. Good roller coasters, good food, good times, all that. And uh, it's always cool passing the roller coasters on the trail. Heading home, under 20 miles to go, feeling great. up everyone I am on mile 66 I need to go to 67 and a half doing the final climbs back up to my house we made it I'm feeling good this was a wonderful experience and happy to have done it I'll see you guys back home